All right, well, uh, maybe you want to go outside. Meteorologist Hannah Gard's got you covered for that in your forecast. Thanks, Rob. Trying to dodge those storms, though, if you are headed outside. The morning hours, probably the best time to do that. We're seeing sunshine right now. We have some fair weather, puffy clouds out there, but we're starting to see some rain starting to move inland. So again, this is the best time to be out there. Then we're going to have to watch for those storms through the afternoon. Temperatures pretty hot now that we're seeing that sunshine. We're almost to 90 degrees in most places. Those dew points very high, almost 80 degrees. So it's going to feel hotter with the feels like temperatures. But again, the rain is going to quickly overtake us this afternoon and the rain chances staying high throughout the rest of this week. We could see some heavy downpours, but luckily it does keep those temperatures below normal, especially when we have that cloud cover. Now what's causing this is a large area of low pressure here. You can see those orange colors. This is what we call a trough or that low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And then down here, you can see all of this moisture kind of taking a conveyor belt up to the northeast. That's where we're seeing most of this rainfall from Texas up through parts of the Ohio River Valley. And then we have some disturbed weather over parts of the Gulf. So this complex of storms that we're seeing to our southwest is what we're watching for today because the outflow from that or the wind that it's pushing out is going to spark up storms as it heads our direction. So by the afternoon into the early evening, we're going to see storm activity cranking up and then it will clear out for us late tonight. Tomorrow we see another round of storms. Look at this boundary starting to meander down a little bit farther south. We could see some storms popping up off of that. And then we get another round on Thursday, although it does look like maybe this complex is a little bit too far to the west of us and we see more of a summer like storm pop up in the afternoon. But that means rain chances each day and we have that flooding threat. You can see these pops of purple on the rain potential map. Those are areas that we could see over five inches of rain. And they're in these swaths, especially over here from Houston to Lake Charles. They could really see some flooding rainfall, six to eight inches or more. And then where we see isolated pop up storms that either linger or have high rain rates, that's where we're going to be mainly focusing on that flooding threat. But I want to compare to last summer and through the summer how much rainfall we got. We had just over 18 inches and look where we're at this year. Over 50 inches of rain, that's almost three feet above where we were last year. So when we had that high pressure dome over us, it kept things dry. But that low pressure I pointed out on the upper level air map, that's kept us in this rainy pattern and we've been seeing that rain each day. So much different than what we saw last summer. Now we do have the Tarpon Rodeo Thursday, Friday, Saturday, still going to be dodging storms. So we have to keep a close eye on the radar there. Saturday, I do think it's not going to be quite as stormy. That means the temperatures will be a little bit higher. The winds are not bad unless you're seeing those storms. So we could have some winds to watch for where those storms do pop up. But as I mentioned, toward the weekend, we might have a little bit of high pressure building in the upper levels of the atmosphere, which will put a bit of a cap on those storms but it doesn't seem to really last into the long term. Here's the low pressure that we're seeing in the upper levels. We have high pressure right here over Florida. It starts to build, but there's still a big weakness up to the north. And if this high pressure really only builds over to the west of us, we're still kind of in this stormy pattern, but we might see that southwest flow break up, which would be good. It could keep us a little bit drier and we don't want that big weakness over us as we head into the peak of tropical season. It's not a good steering pattern for the tropics. It has kept those temperatures down, continuing to be in the upper 80s as we go throughout much of this week. Once we see a little bit of that high pressure building, we'll get back into the low 90s, but that's still below normal for this time of year. The rainy pattern though, does seem to stay in the six to 10 day climate prediction center outlook and where you see that high pressure is strongest, that's where it's driest. So I'm not convinced that we're not going to totally get out of this rainy pattern. Luckily though, in the tropics, not expecting any development in the next seven days. We still have a lot of Saharan dust out there keeping things dry for us. We're just dealing with these storms. Make sure you watch for flooding and don't drive through those flooded roadways if you do encounter that. By the weekend, hopefully you get a little bit more sunshine so you can get outside. Back to you.